Welcome back everyone to another episode of Tusk Reaper Gaming. In this episode we're playing Dungeons and Dragons Online and we're checking out the Blade Forge Ionic Paladin. All right, let's go ahead and get into the video. Welcome to Tusk Reaper Gaming. Please like, subscribe, and get notified. All right, everyone. So whenever you're doing your Ionic Paladin Blade Forge, you can choose the way of the Blade Forge or you can customize yourself. So let's go ahead and let's see what kind of spells and abilities the way of the Blade Forge offers. All right, guys, let's take a look at the uh, enhancement tree. I chose to go with Sacred Defender just to give me a little added hit points and as well as a shield barrier, some better resistances. I didn't choose anything that had to do with a shield. Now, this one up here, you know, improves armor class bonus you receive from shields or armor. I could have chosen, I chose this one for armor. This one would be for shields. Um, so it wasn't very advantageous to take that. So I went ahead and added a few points over here for my blade forge. And we'll just see how well everything works out. We're going to go test him out in just a minute. And uh, as far as the, uh, this, the spells go, you know, it's just the standard paladin spells. You know, you've, you've got some really decent ones. You, we can uh, rearrange the spell book depending on if we're going to be playing with other people. Um, the true resurrection may come in handy. However, this paladin now with this particular enhancement tree is pushing seven lay on hands. So because of that, I'm going to revamp my spell book just a little bit so I can get a few more buffs versus heals. All right, I'm going to prepare that. Then we're going to go ahead and get into the fighting part of this video. All right, guys, let's go test him out on elite up here the lords of dust common quest i've done before with the new builds this is my first blade forge and we are going to go ahead and uh, see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into excuse me Atkins Slash. That's the name of the game. As well as, uh, you know, the uh, armor class. This is the starter sword I'm using. You can tell this is a new build because when I'm trying to press for trip, the other bar <laughs> is sizing me up. All right, so we're just going to do that. Put a little angel skin on to kind of help me out. You can kind of keep the mobs from getting behind you. You'll be better off. You'll have a less chance of getting crit on. Oh, there we go. So, so far, I haven't been able to sunder or trip. attack just keep that active try not to press it again so what does power attack do for you 
I'm actually doing really good damage. Considering. So, power attack. You know, offensive combat stance while using a power attack mode. You trade up to five of your attack bonus for that much extra damage on melee attacks while using a two handed weapon or fighting in an animal form. You gain double the bonus to damage. All right, so that's awesome. We will keep that going. And we can purify it. Skip a battle sequence, if you will. Actually, uh, pretty good. Gonna have to... Oh. I need power attack up. What am I doing? That's what I thought. She's gonna fireball me. So, I need to be strategic and intelligent here. We'll get the trash out of the way. We're gonna move that skill over here in a minute. So I can quit touching it. That patience is a virtue. Man, he's got a lot of hit points. Her spells stay up for a pretty good, pretty good amount. All right, there we go. We will just purify the altar so there's no confusion. And I'll do the smart thing. <laughs> we'll uh, get rid of some of these cultists first. Try to get rid of the death knights. Kind of back it up a little bit. I've got the high ground. Here we are. I think they're hitting me with like uh, negative energy somehow with the. Uh, and a negative energy attack. Interesting. Five. Need to knock him down. health on him. A lot of Sonic. Yeah, these guys are can be a little tough. I 
try to end it. There we go. Not bad. Hang it in there. Oh, that's nice. Blue diamond. So pray. There we go. We continue. Yep. Yeah, not bad. Doing all right, I guess. Now we're going to see how well my turn on dead is going to do, which is probably not going to do very much. Um. You know. Yeah, I didn't do squiddly squat. There we go. This sword I got, I went ahead and I ran on over to Ravenloft and got me this sword. Actually, not bad. Just try to keep things from getting behind us. Damage is all right. Not the greatest. Giant Maul would be best against these guys. And and these these skeletons are kind of specials to begin with. All right. So I'm gonna try out these two different weapons against him. See that's it. You can pause it. All right, there we go. Well, I guess until I get up. Oh, here we are. Exit stage left. So this weapon's not doing all that great of damage against him. Now we'll try this one. Oh, got problems. Yeah. So it's kind of, I don't know. They're really not doing all that great damage against him either. So it's, it's really kind of hard to say. I'm just going to kind of evade for a second. he go where'd you go buddy boy I'd say it's comparable damage about the same if we can pull it off I don't think the other guy is going to be as big of a problem just because uh, it, it's just all the, the fire and poison and acid probably the acid's really what's doing it I think he's throwing acid at me that's a problem Okay, last guy. Man, that's some good damage against him. Do, 
Bitte, bitte. Okay. Hacking the slack slash. Help myself out a little bit with a little DT power. So it looks like survivability is pretty high with this particular build of a paladin. Which it should be. Right? It should be high. guys again this uh, particular dungeon was uh, done on elite base XP is only 500 our base XP is only 5500 and uh, we got this all situated looks good not bad that's quite a bit of quite a bit of XP didn't die Hope that sums it up. Let's get our loot. And what are you gonna do? All right, guys. So uh, tell me what you think about the Blade Forge uh, Paladin. Have you made one? What's your experience with it? Do you think it's one of the most powerful paladins? That you can have out there or do you think if you made your own paladin if it would be more powerful than the uh well i'd say the level 15 pre-made all right we will catch you later thanks for tuning in to this episode of tusk reaper gaming thank you for watching tusk reaper game if you haven't already please like subscribe and hit that notification bell